Headmaster of one of the city's most prestigious high schools resigns. It follows months of tension at Boston Latin over issues of race. Our Mary Salanda joins us live right now with new developments tonight, Mayor. Yeah, and even student leaders are expressing shock over this sudden resignation, but critics are considering this just the first step in some much needed change. Dr. Lynn Mooney Tata had vowed to hold on to her post, but in a letter to Boston Latin students and faculty, today she says she believes it's time for a new headmaster and writes, this has been a very difficult decision, but one which I believe is in the best interest of our students, faculty, and our historic institution. For months, allegations of racism have plagued Boston Latin. Students have come forward describing racially charged incidents. Parents have expressed outrage at the school's handling of them. An internal investigation was launched, but critics say it didn't go far enough. Kevin Peterson was the first to call for Tata's resignation months ago. What I've heard over the last six months um, from students and parents, that in, ter in racial terms, Boston Latin School has been a house of horrors. Civil rights groups asked the U.S. Attorney's Office to investigate, and U.S. Attorney Carmen Ortiz agreed that independent probe continues. But this uh, issue at BLS is not over. The grievances of parents and students haven't been completely heard. So I think there needs to be some more public vetting. Uh, there needs to be some public um, outlet uh, uh, from students and parents and community leaders about what the experience has been here. Now, both the mayor and superintendent of schools, Tommy Chang, have released statements thanking Dr. Tata for her nine years of service. They say the focus now is on a nationwide search to replace her. Live in Boston, I'm Mary Salata, WCVB News Center 5.